6 minutes, 45 seconds until touchdown. Discovery currently flying to the west of Lake Okeechobee. 75 miles until touchdown at the Kennedy Space Center. It's right over my head, but I have not heard any boom. There it goes. Do you hear it? Two booms. Shook the windows. Discovery at the point of terminal area energy management receiving navigation updates for the proper alignment and speed as it approaches the heading alignment cylinder in front of the runway. And I believe they're using an infrared camera here, so basically they're just following the heat signal of the shuttle because it's way far away. I mean, this is amazing that to get a camera shot from hundreds of miles away and as high as an airliner would be flying. see it on my flight tracker. I don't see that showing up at all. Discovery less than 70 miles from the landing site. The hack. No changes to winds or weather. Not on shoot deploy. But if, if Ken, if you're watching the Space Center flight tracker, it may show up there just briefly, assuming that when it gets to a certain altitude, the FAA required a flight plan. Five minutes until touchdown. Because it's still way high. Yeah, you'll now see... view from the pilot point of view camera. Yeah, there's a big Looking circle around it, Ken, display. so they can't fly in that big circle except those military planes. Okay, so now this is, yeah, that was the picture outside the windscreen with the flight instruments, the heads up display, HUD, that some cars now have. You can see the instruments in your windshield that came from the military, actually from the space program. Flying Discovery. So he's flying it himself and not on computer. Uh, he's got to line up various things on that heads up display, and presumably it's already lined up or they'd be in big trouble. There was a sonic booms they heard. Discovery goes subsonic on a Saturday morning, a sun kissed shuttle announcing its arrival at the landing site. I'm not sure that's accurate. Uh, well, he, he may be going subsonic, but that's not why you hear the booms. Three minutes from touchdown. You hear the booms because he's above the, the speed of sound, not below. Commander Mark Kelly uh, handing the stick off to pilot Ken Ham. Beginning an overhead left hand turn to align with runway 15, the northwest to southeast approach to the three mile long landing strip. Yeah, so he's making like a 270 degree turn. So Discovery Houston on at the 180. Almost a complete circle. Uh, three quarters of a circle he's got to make. So you see the clouds below. Yeah. Kelly now flying Discovery once again. And he's got to keep all the little dots and lines lined up in the uh, heads up display and now he's heading approximately north and he's still got to be turning around to southeast usually about probably about a two minute turn I would imagine to make that that turn maybe three minutes Discovery Houston on at the 90 Alright, so now he's at a 90 degree angle of the uh, runway, still turning. And then they'll probably show a, 
uh, about a half a minute the runway view straight down the runway so he's heading about southwest now and he's got to get oriented to southeast along the runway discovery, runway okay so he sees Run the runway and he's hand discovery piloting. Line with runway one five he saw his wings level out, so he's level with the runway now, heading straight down the runway, presumably. But still very, very high because he's dropping like a rock. Now the pilot's flying this. He's a unpowered glider, and he's flying this like he'd fly a glider. Until touchdown, discovery perfectly aligned. See the, see the steep angle. A normal airplane doesn't fly at that kind of an angle, but since it's a very heavy glider, there's no alternative until it gets 100 feet or so and above. Kelly flaring up Discovery's nose. There's the runway. And the to deploy the landing gear. Now he starts straightening out and he'll get the nose a little high. Landing gear comes down real, real fast. And in a few seconds, he's down. Landing gear down and locked. Here's the shadow, and there it is. Main okay. gear touchdown. Parachute will come out. There it and goes. And now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery down. rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.7 million mile mission to further expand a global city in space. Garrett Reisman home after 95 days away from the planet. Pretty cool pictures, huh? Pretty cool. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Beautiful landing, Mark, and uh, congratulations on a great mission. We will meet you on page 5-3 for post landing. venting through infrared cameras uh, down at the Kennedy Space Center, a normal function of the post-landing activity for the shuttle systems. That just shows the areas of heat and cold. Entry Flight Director Richard Jones uh, now going around the room for any uh, changes to the post-landing uh, procedures to safe the vehicle. Everything looks very good.